What's up, gentlemen? How are you? Pretty good. What about yourself? Oh, other than a little damp. <laughs> it's just slightly damp. And, man, I'll tell you what, everything is flooded. Yeah. I mean, it looks bad on the way down here. Well, I bet. Yeah. Did you guys get much rain over there? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my back backyard looks like a lake right now. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. The Chop Chop, ladies and gentlemen, right here. This is where it's going to happen at. So, <laughs> going to have uh, a couple of fine gentlemen I've met over the years process my venison i'll tell you all about that here in a minute get the venison in there okay we've made it to the chop shop got two good friends here we got mike and bud and uh met these guys because they actually was fans of the show they got a hold of us one time they run a, a saint anthony archery club over here and uh saint anthony indiana and they put on some events and they're real good about raising money for the community uh, raffles and all that good stuff and you know, so I'm, I'm just tickled pink that they have me run a booth every year. And I've made so many friends through these guys and they're lifelong friends now. And the reason I'm here, um, my local processor did not process deer this year because of the COVID. And I got to thinking about it and they're local to me. These guys are a little bit farther away, but I thought, hey, they got that chop shop going now. I'll just give them a call and see if they'd be interested in doing my deer. And here we are. And we got a lot of interesting things to show you guys. How long have you been doing this, guys? This is probably our fourth year in this building. Maybe fifth year. Yeah, I mean, this it's, it's fifth. Yeah. yeah we're going on sixth year, I think. Yeah. Last time I was here, it wasn't completely set up like it is now. And they've got quite the operation here. So I'm going to take you around and, and show you what they got going here. So this is where we uh, unload the deer. We come in here. We got a nice little rack here to do the skin and cleaning them out and making sure they're good and clean. And then this right here is our picture wall. <laughs> this right here is our picture wall. Uh, when we do a, when everybody comes in, whether it be Jaden or, or a buck winner, uh, Bud and I, we have a hard time getting a buck. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, at any rate, we do put them in here. We take their picture. Uh, we keep it a, most of a pretty good group of people there. Uh, we do have a little deer contest there that we do. Uh, Fun. Yeah, we're going to talk about this real quick. Um, what I'm seeing on here, there's you got weights, and I'm going down through here, and I'm seeing a number 47. That name sounds familiar. You, you know anything about that? <laughs> well, I needed a, pa a pack of hot dogs, so I got me a small deer. <laughs> All right, what you got going here, guys? Well, when you're having fun, sometimes you have necessities. What goes in must come out few modern conveniences that uh, we made sure that we've got the comforts of home. This is a privy and they got all only good stuff in here. <laughs> You've got to have magazine racks in the bathroom with bow hunting, absolutely. Okay, so what you got going here? We get them done with the cleaning them up. We get them in here in our little walk-in. We've actually got two walk-ins. This one here is just a cooler. Okay. This one can actually be a freezer. And so and we use it the most. Oh, got wow. our hangers in there. How many can you hang in here, deer? Oh, we can do six easily. We'll do six easily. Nice and cold. Oh, yeah. It's actually set up. Eventually, on this side, we'll hang six more. Okay. And, you know, the thing that we can't stress enough is this isn't us. This is our friends and family that everybody forgets from the beginning to the end and the camaraderie that goes with it. Gotcha. That's the fun part. Well, you got a booger Making head here, Mike. Making fun of 47 pound deer. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a booger head here, Mike. This for you. Uh, we hang our baloney on this to okay. dry off after we do the uh, smoking and the okay. cooking of it. Just somewhere to hang it. Mm -hmm. And let's go see what you got outside. This is our smoking area. Uh, we use a lot of massive built uprights to hang our balonies in and stuff like that. Uh, we do want to build a big smokehouse over here to this side. Uh, that's in the works. But, you know, that's everything got to have time for. The smell out here is incredible. It is. <laughs> we just did 20 butts for the club yesterday. Nice. Yeah, I think you was doing that when I called you yesterday. Yeah. 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 And no alcohol required. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have got a lot of bowhunting.com, bowhunter dye stuff around here. And we do appreciate it. Well, one thing that uh, we know you guys have fun, we have fun, and 
the internet TV shows tell it how it is, and we appreciate that because well, we know how it is. One of the best shows out there, in my opinion, four hundred dollars. Because I know that if you guys shot a forty-seven pound deer, you'd be bragging about it. Dude, who shot a forty-seven pound? Deer? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> There's no shame in shooting forty-seven pound deer when you get one deer in one package. It's pretty awesome. It's tasty, tender vittles. Boom. <laughs> This is part of the uh, deer contest. Our friend, John Cheater, was, he had passed away from cancer. Uh, this is the trophy we do for our deer contest. Uh, Gene won it in 2019 and Luke this year, 2020. Okay, I think we pretty much settled on bologna. What'd you call the sticks? Snack sticks. Snack sticks, and we're gonna do some hot dogs. So we're gonna take some pictures during the process. We'll show you that, guys. And then uh, when I come back and pick it up, we'll see what that looks like. All right, we are back at the chop shop. And of course, I introduced you to Bud last time, Mike and Grant. Okay, and you are? Uh, I am Bud's son. Hey, what, are you, what are you eating there, buddy? I'm eating a chocolate donut <laughs> that was lovingly provided to us by uh, Mike this morning. And we're kind of jealous right now. So, <laughs> anyway, these guys, uh, uh, last couple weeks, they've been working on my venison and been sending me some pictures and I gotta admit my mouth was watering every time. Especially <laughs> with my little uh, Slim Jims. Yeah. Oh man, when you sent those, it was like, I need them right now. Yeah. So did it go pretty smooth? Well, we, so. we kept the venison and you're actually getting beaver. This is not gonna work for me. <laughs> 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 but hey, you never know. I'm pretty good at this. No, no. All right, we're gonna cut that right there. <laughs> We got some samplers in here. Yeah, is that the beaver or is that the... <laughs> well, we went ahead and substituted back when you said yuck. So now you got venison, snack sticks, franks, deer bologna. Cool. With pepper jack cheese. Just the way I wanted it. Well, you guys are all right, you know what? <laughs> Don't tell nobody. <laughs> we got reputations, you know. Uh, tell you what, let's go sample a piece here in a minute. All right. Before we get cut to this, I got to say something. And I, I promised Mike that I wouldn't share this picture too much. I mean, like the first time we met, we shot. I think he had an arrow in the lake or something. So Brandon, whatever you do, don't put that picture right here of Mike fishing his arrow in <laughs> the lake. Don't, don't put it here. Uh. Anyway, all right. What do you guys want to try? Hey, what are you going to do? These are snacks of cheese. Yep. And I'm just going to cut me a little sample of the. How's that? Whatever works for you, Dan. Yeah. If you want to grab a whole stick, grab it. I'm going right on this right here. I'm going to try this little fellow right here. Sir. Grant, you want a stack stick? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very delicious. Yeah, I haven't gotten the best part yet. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Wait till you try this snack stick. All right. We'll get that here in a minute. I've still got to do one more. You know, it's one of those things that people forget. That's part of hunting. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs to get together, cut their deer up, process their deer, You're totally and right. share it with friends and family. Yep. That's how we're going to keep people involved in the sport. And what's cool about you guys doing this, you get all your buddies in here, and you just, I mean, the camaraderie, my gosh, over the top, isn't it? Laugh until you cry. <laughs> Bad thing is, if you shoot a deer that's like less than 50 pounds, it goes real quick, and then you can't do this no more. You gotta wait till the next season. You know, but if you can shoot one that's less than 50 pounds, that target gets small, that means you're a really good archer. <laughs> you know what, these guys are pretty full of it, and I like it. Okay, folks, this is what it's all about right here. Uh, it's not just about hunting, it's getting together with friends. And luckily, I got these guys as friends, and look what they just did for me. They're awesome. I'll tell you what, it's really good, and it's nice to know somebody's got a place like this, and you guys are doing a heck of a job. And we appreciate it. You know, we appreciate the people who are around and the people who support the things that we do. Yep. You know, there's a lot of things that people miss in our community that are important. And you guys come to the Sanity Conservation Club's Archery Expo every year, 
and that's a big part of what makes it successful. So and we appreciate, appreciate you guys, guys man. Sir, really do. Absolutely. So anyway, I'm gonna load this delicious venison up. Yeah, no beaver. And I'm gonna get it home. We're gonna eat on this tonight. So until next time, go on or die.